గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు వరండాల్ మై సెల్ఫ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్ నేలు ఇన్ ప్రీవియస్ క్లాస్ వి డిస్కస్ రిగార్డింగ్ ది వాట్ ఈస్ ఫ్లోలైన్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద డిఫరెంట్ కాన్ఫిగరేషన్స్ అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద డిఫరెంట్ సిస్టమ్స్ అండ్ పార్ట్ మెకానిజమ్స్ ఓకే ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అబౌట్ ఆటోమేటెడ్ అసెంబ్లీ సిస్టమ్స్ ఓకే బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ టు ది టాపిక్ లెట్ ఎస్ నో అబౌట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఆటోమేషన్ అసెంబ్లీ అసెంబ్లీ మీన్స్ జాయినింగ్ ఆఫ్ టూ ఆర్ మోర్ పార్ట్స్ టు ఫామ్ ఎ కంప్లీట్ అసెంబ్లీ ఆర్ సెమీ ఆటోమేషన్ సెమీ అసెంబ్లీ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఓకే ఇట్ మీన్స్ విత్ ది హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ మెకనైజ్డ్ అండ్ ఆటోమేటెడ్ డివైజెస్ టు జాయిన్ ఆర్ టు అసెంబుల్ డిఫరెంట్ ప్రోడక్ట్స్ టు ఫామ్ ఈ ప్రోడక్ట్ బై జాయిన్ ది డిఫరెంట్ ప్రోడక్ట్స్ విత్ ది హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ మెకనైజ్డ్ అండ్ ఆటోమేటెడ్ డివైజెస్ ఈజ్ నోన్ యాజ్ ఆటోమేటెడ్ అసెంబ్లీ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ వేర్ వీ ప్రిఫర్ ది ఆటోమేటెడ్ అసెంబ్లీ సిస్టమ్స్ దట్ మీన్స్ హై ప్రోడక్ట్ డిమాండ్ stable product design next a limited number of components in the assembly next the product is designed for only automated assembly systems in these systems we can use the automated assembly system that means whenever the the product demand is high that means the number of products needed is more within this less span of time in that case we use the automated assembly systems next stable product design coming to this point in some products the time the product life cycle is very less because based on the type of the product in some cases the product uh, cycle time is more okay that means we can use that product uh, for the more than uh, years that means of uh, 5 years 10 years like that for that type of products we can prefer the automated assembly system because to install the, the configuration and devices and equipment in automated assembly system is very high that means the initial investment to configure the equipment is high so that we can use the automated assembly system the for stable product design okay next a limited number of components in the assembly okay for the, uh, uh, in some case uh, products there are number of products is there okay in some products that now components is very less okay so that for an automated assembly system we will prefer the a less number that means limited number of components in the assembly that type of product we will prefer the automated assembly systems next coming to the product is designed for automated assembly in some cases the products are assembled with the help of only automated system without the manual process for that products we can prefer the automated assembly systems okay these are the different conditions where we use the automated assembly systems next coming to system configurations automated system uh, assembly systems can be classified according to their physical form, configuration based on the space and based on the size and type of the product and the configurations arranged in the based on the floor space okay we can divide the assembly uh, system that is inline assembly machine next dial type assembly machine next carousel assembly system next single station assembly machine okay these are the different system configurations we prefer the prefer in assembly automated system coming to inline assembly automated system in this the inline assembly machine is a series of automatic workstations it consists of number of workstations in that workstations we use the automated assembly stations that means it consists of a located along in a inline transfer system okay it is the assembly version of machining process whatever the uh, this uh, configuration is same whatever we discuss in the automated assembly uh, inline inline floor line that means in processing operation we will discuss the uh, configuration of the floor line that means inline the same process the same system is used in this assembly in that process used for machining here used for assembly operation 
In this, synchronous and asynchronous transfer systems are common means of transport. Here, we use the these two type of configuration that is synchronous and asynchronous. These two words we discussed in previous class. Next, it is the configurations of the inline assembly machine. It consists of a inline uh, linear flow line. It consists of number of workstations. In each workstation, the parts to be added separately. These parts to be added to the base parts. Okay, this process will go in different workstations. After completion of all these or adding the elements to this base part and finally the completed assembly will get at the end of the line okay like this we can add the add or assembly work parts to the base parts okay like this we can complete the assembly process coming to dial type assembly machine in this the dial type machine base parts are loaded onto fixtures or next attached to the circular components components are added or joined to the base ports at the various workstations located around the periphery of the dial. Observed is the a dial uh, um, circular flow line. For these, the ports will be added to here. The it will be rotated clockwise. In clockwise, we arrange the workstations. In each workstation, the ports to be added to the base ports. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In 6 workstations, the part assembly process will be completed. Finally, the work part will be taken out from the this configuration. Okay. Here, the dial indexing machine operates with synchronous or intermittent motion in which the cycle consists of the service time plus indexing time. Okay. Here, we will prefer the synchronous okay, or intermittent motion. Next, dial type assembly machines are sometimes designed to use continuous Okay, sometimes uh, sometimes we can use the yes uh, continuous motion uh, like example bottle filling, beverage filling, next canning plants, next electronics assembly. All these applications we use the dial type assembly machine. Here, the operation of dial type uh, in inline machine is sim uh, similar to the operation of their co counterparts for processing operations. Okay, for synchronous transfer of work between the ideal cycle time equals to the operation time at the slowest station plus the transfer line between the stations okay the production rate uh, at 100% uptime is the reciprocal of the ideal cycle time okay here in some times the part will be jammed and then in, in sometimes malfunctions will occur due to this all these problems the efficiency of the dial uh, dial type assembly machine is reduced so that Mostly, it is below the 100%. Okay. Next, coming to carousel assembly system. In this, it is the configuration. It is the combination of inline and circular type system. Here, this configuration can be operated with continuous, synchronous and asynchronous transfer mechanism. In this system, we can use the three different systems. That is synchronous, continuous and asynchronous. Okay. It uh, corrals with asynchronous transfer of work often used in partially automated assembly system because here there is the time uh, the work cycle time is not fixed in every workstation so that we use the asynchronous in some cases next it is the carousel assembly system here it is the linear configuration it is the circular configuration so that it is prepared by applying the both methods, uh, methods that is linear and circular type. Next coming to single station assembly line. In a single station assembly machine, assembly operations are performed on a base port at a single location. In previous three configurations, it comes of a number of workstations. But in case of single station assembly line, only one station is placed. Okay. Here, the parts will come to the workstation from different feeding mechanisms. Okay, that means different flow lines. For each part in the workstations, it will be added number of components. Observed, it is the single workstation. It is the base part. It will come to the workstation. Here, it will come to the, uh, the parts coming from the different flow lines will be assembled to this product. Okay, 
example for this system is printed electronic circuit boards okay for that uh, product it can of a number of products it will be joined by using single station assembly mechanism okay like this the parts will be assembled okay these are the different configurations in the automated assembly lines okay thanks for watching